Professional organizing is one of those jobs that most of us perform in person, and the COVID-19 outbreak has shut down many of our businesses. I hope you all are keeping safe and healthy. I've gotten some questions about if it is even ethical to you know, work with or market to your clients right now. So in this video, I'm reviewing all the ways that you can work on and in your business without meeting with your clients face-to-face. -face. Hi, I'm professional organizer, Katherine Lawrence, and I help you live a life with less clutter so you can have space for the things that truly matter. The first way you can still work on your business is to connect with your clients. Just because you may not be able to work with your clients face-to-face, -face, you can still support them and stay in touch. A lot of folks are stuck at home right now and could use the advice of a professional organizer to help them set up a home office, homework stations for students, or just declutter their closet to stay active and busy while at home. If you have a Facebook page, YouTube channel, or Instagram account for your business, you can post tips or tutorials. You can host a live Q&A or offer phone consultations. Let your clients know you are thinking about them and that you can still provide resources and advice. Rev up your social media. One of my constant struggles as a one woman business is balancing the time I spend out of my office with my clients and working in my office on marketing. Now, I have to admit, when I have a full week of organizing jobs, I have completely ignored my social media marketing. The problem with that is because I have not been working on marketing, I eventually run into a slow period, and then I try to cram in as much marketing as possible to rev up my business again. The best way to prevent that, and something you can do while stuck in your office, is to batch and schedule social media posts in advance. I've been hearing from some organizers who don't feel it's appropriate to bombard their clients right now as they may be ill or stressed, and I totally understand that. But with batching and scheduling, you are creating content now that you can post weeks or even months from now. I use scheduling tools like Planoly and Tailwind. You can also upload to Facebook and YouTube and set a date in the future to release the content. So this week, you could create a tip sheet for organizing holiday decorations or even back to school prep and not post it until much later in the year. Now, assuming we all get back to work in the upcoming months, you'll have marketing content ready to go when you are back to working your regular schedule. Do a brand review. A brand review is when you look at all the visual media that represents your business, your website, your social media pages, your business card, and other print material, and check it for consistency. The point of this is to create a consistent look and tone for your business so your brand is easily recognized on different platforms. Now, this is something I'll be working on from home because I launched a new website in January and I'm changing my services a little bit, so I need to revisit my Facebook page and LinkedIn to get them in sync with my website and my Instagram account. What I'm looking for is a consistent look with colors and fonts and also consistency in messaging that each platform tells the same story about who you are and the services that you offer. Okay, now this is a big one. Take online courses. Would you believe I have taken over 160 hours of continuing education units just to maintain my certification as a professional organizer? I love sites like Udemy and Teachable for online training. You can even listen to past NAPO conference lectures via their website. We are so blessed to live in a time when so much training is available to us at home. Now, if you're brand new to professional organizing, check out my course, Intro to Professional Organizing. I put a link in the description of this video and that includes a $30 off coupon. And if you are already a student of mine, be sure to check out the private Facebook group, Organizing for Professionals, where I've uploaded more free and discounted classes. In addition to courses in organizing, you can take courses in marketing, business development, web design, 
anything that will help you grow and manage your business in the future. My last idea for you is to offer virtual services. Helping your clients declutter and organize is not limited to visiting them in their homes. Now would be a good time to offer virtual services to your existing clients or put in place a system for working with your clients remotely in the future. The software I use to schedule and collect payments for my coaching calls is Calendly. Clients can set up their own appointments based on my calendar availability and pay for their appointments via the PayPal integration. The appointment is automatically added to my Google Calendar. Calendly also integrates with Zoom video conferencing software and a meeting link is automatically sent to all the participants. Now, I know that was a lot of technical jargon, so let me know in the comments below if you guys would like me to do a separate video on how to set up your virtual services. If you are looking for a coach or mentor for your professional organizing business, I would love to meet with you by phone or video chat. I'll put a link in the description box below of this video to tell you how to get in touch. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos on downsizing, decluttering, and the business of organizing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.